Hi everyone, uh, this video we're gonna look at saving specifically for Instagram. Uh, the principles here can be used for other social media platforms, especially photo sharing platforms where you wanna get the best quality out of what they're doing. There is a couple of little quirks that are specific to Instagram and some of the other ones, Facebook, etc. I'll show you what they are. Uh, yeah, let's jump in. Okay, so we're gonna do Instagram, but all the different social media platforms have different rules and you might have to Google those and we're not gonna cover them all. But I'm gonna give you a heads up to a bit of insight to in particular Instagram because it is quite heavily used for photography, even though it's trying to follow TikTok into video, but that's the main place that I share my photos. Okay, and what we can do is when we go to share, okay, we're gonna custom settings, uh, JPEGs is what we need, dimensions is gonna be custom, Okay, and what we're looking for is not long side or short side, we're looking for the width. And what do I mean? This width here. We know what width is, Dan, okay? So if it's on long side, that's not what I'm doing. I want whatever the width is, okay? So we're using a portrait image, so the short side, in this case, is the width. So short side, long side. That kind of makes sense. What you wanna do is you want it to be 1080 or less. Okay, so 1080 is the maximum. And what is that? You're like, why is 1080 so important? Basically, if you upload anything to Instagram, say it's the full size, it's massive, or even 2000 pixels wide, because you're like, yeah, seems good. Okay, Instagram's little algorithm, its little machine goes, hey, there's a photograph, it's above 1080, so I'm gonna shrink it down to 1080. So it does it without asking. And the little machine that does it, okay, the little hiding in your app, it's pretty ruthless. It's actually on their probably cloud server. It actually scrunches it down to 1080, but also plays around with quality okay whereas you can be tricky you can say as long as it's 1080 it, the little machine goes ah it's 1080 it's fine let's let you through you can say i'm 100 <laughs> okay so that's the trick for sharing for instagram it's different on different platforms have a check whatever your main go-to for sharing stuff is okay figure out what the size is that the machine doesn't go in and have a play with your image. And at the moment, at the, on Instagram, it's 1080 on the width. Go Google that. Type in Instagram best settings, Lightroom, and the, your year, and look for something up to date. And because the file size is so small in terms of pixels, we can have the quality maxed out. Might as well. Okay, include watermark. I don't want it here. All right, the other thing is metadata. So a lot of information gets captured on your um, photograph. Okay, camera, type, lens, sometimes geolocation. It's probably best just to use that as copyright only, okay? So it says, Daniel Scott made this photograph, but it doesn't tell you that that was shot in Limerick, Ireland, okay, in GPS coordinates. That information can sometimes be passed along. That's the tinfoil hat in me. I don't think they do anything with it. Nobody can trace you. Well, actually, the data is actually still part of the image. I'm not sure how much of it is scrubbed out of Instagram, but not all websites will scrub out the metadata, so it might be included in the image. And people will know where you've been to holidays, or in my case, where I go for my coffee. I go for my coffee, one, two, maybe four houses down that way. There's a nice cafe. Anyway, so let's do, let's do copyright only, and that is it. The other thing to note about, especially Instagram, is that actually if you upload an image, even if it is 1080 or lower you got to say 1080 by the way that's the cool way of saying it okay um they will actually do some processing to your image they often add a little bit of sharpening and they will make it look a little bit nicer and nicer in air quotes you can't see my air quotes we've made our image as nice as we want it to be don't touch it instagram you can't do anything about that they do a little bit of processing to kind of sexy up images it's just so that then the regular person who doesn't have super mad uh, lightroom skills uploads an image it looks a bit nicer than the one they actually took so if you do find there's a little bit of change in color or a little bit of uh, sharpening everything's a little, little bit crispier than it was in lightroom that's instagram adding a little bit of their magic onto it just in case the short side thing was a bit confusing okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to export that one thank you very much i'll put it in there let's go to this other image on my left arrow and I'm gonna do the same thing, but for this one, I need to say not the short side is 1080, okay? Remember the rule is the width. So it's saying that I'm gonna make this short side of this uh, landscape image 1080. No, 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 I need the long side now to be 1080 which is this way. Okay, and that's the only difference in here. Landscape, portrait. The width needs to be 1080, max that at 100%. We'll look at cropping in another video coming up just to kind of separate this course into chunks. We're gonna ignore cropping for the moment, but skip ahead if you wanna to go to there. I'll mention Instagram in particular. Another thing is that this one here, you're like, oh, it's looking not looking great at that width by 100%. You gotta remember, people are gonna be looking at this at 100%, okay? So that like scaled up to fit, it's showing some of the pixels and not goodness, but when it's at 100%, 
and it's going out to a cell phone, which is Instagram's home, it will look amazing. Got to get rid of those power lines. All right, that is it. Saving specifically for Instagram, but there'll be a certain type of wizardry that you'll have to work out for the different other platforms. Instagram might be so last year and there might be a cool new one that everyone's using. Figure out what that is, work your exporting magic, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, that is the end of the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give it a like. It helps me out. Uh, also subscribe to the channel because there's lots more Lightroom content where that came from. Uh, if you are sitting there thinking though, I wish you'd just do a course, you know, take me from zero to hero all the way through Lightroom and show me everything. Oh, you're in luck. Uh, I've got something called the Lightroom Essentials course. There'll be a link to it in the description here. Uh, so check that out if you want to go from zero to hero in Lightroom. But for now, carry on. Like and subscribe.